yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Attention all of Dogtown residents, this is Kirk Hansen. An unmarked aircraft has crashed in our district. The crash site is now a restricted area. My people will proceed to secure it. The rest of you, go home and stay there. That is, unless you want to catch a stray bullet. I'm imposing a state of emergency in Dogtown until further notice. More news to come as the situation develops. Finally. My legs are killing me. Come on. Take a breather. Still nothing from so me. Radio silence. She's never gone dark this long. Troubling, to say the least. How you feel about our roommates? None too bright. Not entirely useless. And two extra guns could always prove handy. Gonna give them that payday, really? Why wouldn't I? They're taking a sizable risk. So, what if Songbird don't show? We need to wait. It's all we can do for now. If she doesn't show, well... Then... I'll have one other option to consider. But let's table it till morning. We should get some rest. <laughs> Surreal. All of it. What's that? I'd have been home by now. Reading the evening brief, glass of water and two sleeping pills waiting on the night table. Doesn't sound like you miss it much. Hmm. See you in the morning, V. Morna. She's on the balcony. Help yourself to some coffee. I made it fresh. Sleep okay? Night all right? Like any with a roof overhead. Claustrophobic. As for Jacob, he thrives in dreamland. Come on, baby. Ever ridden in a Rayfield? My villa with VIP friends? High society? On and on till the crack of dawn. A man with ambitions, clearly. Those in a deviated septum. Where's Jacob? Fresh airdrop nearby. Jay went down for a look-see.
She's not here. I Means she's not coming. It's been, what, 12 hours since the crash? Enough time to flee Dogtown, that's sure. She'd never leave me behind. Protocol? Friendship. I need to find her. You don't leave your people behind enemy lines. Could it still buy that fairy tale bullshit? Whatever happened, we have to help her. Listen, I know we had a calm night, but you gotta leave Dogtown. How? In a car trunk? Fingers crossed? Hansen's waiting for that sort of desperate attempt. Okay. There gotta be a way. Let me think. Know my share of fixers. Bet we could get one Out to... of the question. They'll hand me over to the highest bidder. Got to find it myself, sounds like. On my own. Not entirely. I have just the person to help. Solomon Reed's the name. Seven years ago, he headed up our intelligence efforts in Night City. He and Somi were a team. With the conflict over, he went into hibernation. So he's out there somewhere. Reed's a man of principle. He can't be swayed, can't be bribed. If there's anyone we can trust now, it's him. A sleeper agent? No shit. Tell me more. Unless that's like a state secret or whatever. It is. Of the false bottom drawer variety. Let's say you want to secure your interests on another country's soil. If diplomacy fails, you resort to other means. Like a military coup. That's one option. Solomon Reed is another sure one. Reed guy sounds like an ace up your sleeve. Could have played him already. Activating a sleeper agent is no simple matter. You'll need a dog whistle. A what now? Don't tell him I called it that. It's a signal only Reed will hear. It'll be tricky. Huh. There was a secret comms channel accessed only from a Capitan Caliente nearby. The FIA used it before the war. The access code was... 0931. Got a bad feeling, V. Meaning an analog landline. That crash tear open a hole in space-time? When sending sensitive information, you use the technology least vulnerable to interception, old or not. That Caliente should still be wired for it. Owner have a thing for antiques? He had a thing for federal money. And he might still be alive. Remember, 0931. Sounds way overcomplicated. Gotta be an easier way. We'll call the FIA secret agent hotline and dial his extension. No, this is the only way. Uh-huh. So what'll happen next? Reed will need to screen you. You'll show him this. It means you work for us. What the? A file will be created for you in the FIA database. Wait, back up. Tell me I'm a special agent now. That's right. We're taking the oath make it feel more real. Secret comms line, presidential token. What's next? The coded message in today's scream sheet? That token is for your safety. If Reed isn't 100% certain I sent you, he won't hesitate to kill you. Seems we're on the same side. Can't hurt. Oh, V. Repeat after me. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. I, V, do hereby solemnly swear. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. Fucking pathetic. To faithfully serve the new United States of America. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I vow to uphold the values set forth in the nation's constitution and represent its government with dignity and due diligence. I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. 
I pledge to defend my country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Should this cause claim my life, so be it. On behalf of all and U.S. citizens, I thank you. Good luck out there, V. And don't let the bastards nab you. Supposed to go to the local Capitan Caliente. You know the place? <laughs> it's not my top choice for hair of the dog, but it closed down. The business went under and the owner chose the rope. You know, taking that oath, bad idea. Oh, yeah? Some causes are worth pledging your life to me. This ain't one of them. How'd you come to that? Because with the biz done, their arm will still be far up your ass and you'll be a meat puppet. No, I was once at Corpo Jarhead, right? Practically dove into uniform head first. They had a real hard-on for the oath. Repeat after me, bloody fucking blah. But can't remember what I solemnly pledged to do. Sure you want to talk about this? Forget it. You were just do a chewing out. Crazy color smoke? Yep. Wham bam. One of Hanson's cargo drops, no doubt. She all yours. I sure as shit ain't making that climb. Don't wanna climb, or you're not telling me something. You think I'm finna parkour up on one leg? Thanks for the heads up. Maybe I'll take a look. Sure thing.
town, are you? Well, I've but one word of advice. Caution. Hands? <laughs> Sheesh. What's your link to this area? This is Pacifica's bumping, thumping business heart. Where the real deals are done. So, we finally gonna meet in person? I can say neither yes nor no. In lieu of an answer, I've new work for you. I hope you'll accept. One last thing. How you breach Dogtown's border, I'm not certain. Though, I suspect not via the main gate. Irrelevant in any case. I've secured clearance for your future convenience. Your name and likeness now registered in the system, granting unfettered passage over the district threshold. Talk again soon. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stems. Man, fuck the court. Shop local. Shop with Ronald, Ronnie the Roster. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stems.
nothing without your help. Check out Ronald Cream Thin. There's prices in Dogtown. Certified resale. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Thin. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stems. Ain't nothing without your help. Check out Ronald's Cream Stems.
There's prices in Dogtown. Ain't nothing more.
Capitan Caliente. Guide clearly went down with this place. Stash house, by the looks of it. Right. Let's see what's here. Junkie variety. I wonder if it even works. Hmm. Huh. Oh, come on. Answer. I'll have a double cheeseburg while you're at it. Uh, anyone there? Hello? Fossil's probably busted. Or you flubbed the number. What the fuck do we do now? Who is this? Call me V. Andrew Jackson, basketball court. Daytime. Noted. Not exactly loquacious, our man of mystery. Could just prefer text. Damn sure I do.
bunch of fresh clef shards here. His elbow has a hitch. Dude needs an upgrade. Think it'll hitch today? Oh, not a doubt in my mind, it'll hitch. A piece of the plane smashed into our kitchen. You believe that? What? Everybody okay? I see it's in the house. Gonna be a game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? Guessing you. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. Thought the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storms, what's brewing? <laughs> Don't let the sunshine fool you. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. <laughs> Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get <laughs> shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. Told me about that. Nothing to be proud of. Tore out that chapter, crumpled it, swallowed it. Our sitch hairballed it back up. One thing I did learn: caked in blood and mud. What was that? <sighs> After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, tombs are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Sounds like you got some shit to work through. You gotta face your demons sometimes, Johnny. Didn't actually have a problem with them. Till now. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel in this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Uh. Hans, what you holding? <gasps> Johnny, you holding what the hell's breathing down my neck? How the fuck should I know? 
Only see what you see. I see you holding something. Show me. Got this token. Mean anything to you? Yes. But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Rosalind. I don't know any Rosalind. And neither do you. Got a pro spy here, V. Is she safe? <clears throat> Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around it. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Dunno. Wasn't looking for a tail. Well, you get one point for being candid. Atta boy. Black Thought and Merrimack, Miller Street. Three minutes, front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed? Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Betty's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey. You see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coat looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey! Shut it or get lost! See if I still got the old moves. Nice. Might not get your ass handed to you after all. Blackthorn. Used to the real biz at Corporal Plaza. And now? And now I'm here.
Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever risk so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Troon's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Our biz. <laughs> what gave me away? You got into a stranger's car. You're lucky I am who I claim to be. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Snowman. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received a commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Know her? Sell me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Ray, it's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just, uh, FYI. Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Myers can take care of herself. Not a damsel in distress. Saw her take charge. Yeah, me too. It's not a first rodeo. Survived a few assassination attempts. Real tough. But still. She is the president. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. Boss, man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. FIA special agent, bouncing away time at a club. The job attracts ex-cops and commandos, too. I know a few. They're a tough bunch. Trouble. Easy to blend in with over beers. Huh? This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? I had a ciggy on a balcony this morning. Why you ask? When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. Relax, she ain't alone. Made some new tunes, locals. Introductions were a little dicey, but she turned on the charm. 
Probably has her Dogtown campaign staff by now. This keeps getting worse and worse. If anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Take point. Come on, open it. Open up. It's me. Yeah, yeah, coming. Don't move much. Fuck's sake. Again? Where is she? That's enough, gentlemen. Put your tools away, gents. Compare length and girth when I'm not around. You the boss. Are you sure? Look around. Positive. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Never with me, Roslyn. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Come on, we should talk in private. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh-huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. So, the cast of Hawks squawking for war. For some, the war never ended. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bot when she hacked it. One little mishack. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has my eyes told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arasaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. You're right. I'm sorry, Reed. For those seven years. Is that enough to get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi and my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much she's paying, but you better ask yourself. Is it worth it? So 
Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely, poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Rest easy. Can be real persuasive when I need to be. Zeal's good, but don't wreak havoc. Not too much, not yet. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Stay safe. And don't let the bastards get you. Same to you, V. May we meet again in more favorable circumstances. All right, I need to make some calls. It's me. I need a cab. Two people. Oh, long ride. No, no papers. Not this time. Yeah, Dogtown. Waterfront. Usual spot. Thanks. Done. We should leave. Best if we weren't together. V, you'll go five minutes after we do. Good luck, V. So how do we get out of this little corner of paradise? Let's just say it'll be a bumpy ride. <laughs> just like old times, isn't it? What's the future hold in store for J&T? Two options. We die in Dogtown, or we hit the road, scoot far, far out of here. I guess it comes down to our dear Madam Prez. Will she keep her word? You'll have to excuse my friend. He's sometimes... excitable. Right. You ought to teach him about the value of initial impressions. At least his kind goes guns blazing. I mean, screw those, stab you in the Baxters. All good, Jacob? Doggone fairy tale, V. This Rosalind chick, piece of work if I ever seen one. Thinking we might have had a moment. Shame she ain't finna stay longer. Gonna boost soon. Keep an eye on Jay, will you? One shitty nanny I'd make. Hey, keep it real, V. Gotta evac soon. Watch yourself out now there, Now the world better watch out for Jacob. <laughs> yeah, just remember to knock before you enter any shady-looking digs. See, if I came knocking last night, I'd have missed the chance to meet my babe, Rosalind. And you, I suppose. <sighs> That's life for you, V. There's a lesson in all this, don't you think? Okay, what do we got?
Tomorrow. Best of luck. Don't fuck with me, chill. Fuck off while you I still got back. legs to walk on. Another overnight delivery, looks like. Wonder what it was. Meds? Iron? Implants? Implants, for sure.
from you up ahead. You heard. Hmm? I got to show me the scarf that I copied. I told me a new shipment coming in. 